Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Time to Strike, a busted build sort of horde survival roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out again here today. I played a proof of concept over on itch.io like six months ago. I thought it was really neat. I said, hey, it'd be cool if there was a full version that came to Steam, and boy, that is what has happened. It's going to be coming out, I believe, tomorrow, but we get to look at it a little bit early. So let's pop into the tutorial. Uh, oh, WSD to move, left click to shoot your main weapon, right mouse click to swing a bat, it uses stamina, hit an enemy with it. Bonk. You can deflect red bullets with a bat, try it out. Bonk. Shoot me! Shoot me! Hit an enemy with a bat to reload, starting weapon shift and activate time shift. Unload all your ammo and then hit an enemy to reload. And then space to dash, invulnerable while dashing. Yellow bullets cannot be deflected, but you can still dash through them. We'll show it off. Whoop. You're ready. Hey, I love a good one minute tutorial. It's genuinely really do. Oops, one second. What the hell? Sorry, I was just playing two songs at the same time. I had to fix that. <laughs> that was blowing my brain up. Uh, select a starting weapon. There's a lot of starting weapons. Go for the blaster. High knockback. Why not? Select three trinkets. Oh, interesting. Three max health. On room enter, 75% chance to regain 1 HP and an extra reroll for non-boss rewards. Difficulty, danger up to 5. Very brotato this, even down to the name. Extremely brotato on that. All right, here I am. Uh, in a run. What is... We get uh, ammo back there. So, one thing I remember that was really neat is we could get weapons, but then we also can modify those weapons with very specific things, making truly busted builds. Gain the ability to eat enemy corpses, and when you eat a corpse, shoot a burst of bullets to nearby enemies and spawn critters. On kills, shoot a bouncing, piercing crow. They don't count as summons. I do like the thought of that. Let's go for crows. When we kill, we summon a piercing, bouncing crow. Bonk. You get out of here, punk. That is a lot of crows. Okay, relic. Three max ammo, one max dash, 25% extra health pickup drops. Movement speed on your last shot, shoot a marking, bouncing, piercing bullet to a random enemy. On kill, 70% chance to summon a zombie. I mean, they're... I would go for summons if the, they didn't say this was a... Eh? Wait. 25% poison damage. 2 max health. On poison, apply. Apply additional 2 stacks. I want this, but I... I, I want to get a thing that applies poison first, but I would love to do that. A, a crow slash poison build feels thematically right. I... You know what? In for penny, in for pound. We'll, we'll go for it and we'll just... Uh, we'll get the stuff later. How about that? Seems like the waves are going to be easy enough for the beginning, especially on this earliest difficulty here. Oh, for sure. Mitosis. Uh, minus haste, minus bullet speed. Every 0.6 seconds, all bullets shoot a tiny bullet to the nearest enemy. On hit, shoot bullet to the nearest enemy. So we, we apply these to this. Plus one bullet... Give me like a can we get a poison? On trigger, chance to summon a zombie. Silver bullet, 60% damage, but extra spread. It feels like that'd be really good for the crows. On trigger, a 15% chance to trigger all of your on last shot effects. Five damage, minus bullet speed, accelerating bullets, and when you hit, chance to mark the target. I'll get the mod. Let's let's make the crow. I mean. We shouldn't really care about the spread of the crow if it's homing, right? Or it's not homing, it's just it's bouncing. Oh, I didn't even see that, man. The thing is, if they are not, uh, you know, if they're just kind of bouncing around anyways, I feel like that's going to be fine if they just have worse spread. On poison apply, shoot a random homing bullet. I'm going to need some poison. On hit... 25% chance to shoot a bouncy ball in a random direction. Hmm. I'm, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going to get a poison one day. We'll go for a bunch of rerolls to actually get poison stuff now after this. 
The second it shows up, we're all going to be so excited. And until then, we're going to say, boy, he bad. Because he didn't take the thing. Uh oh, I'm out of dashes. There we go. Back it on up. Okay, that guy's exploding for sure. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> it's just it being in the corner without the stuff there. A weapon machine gun, weapon bomb blobs. Every three ammo used, shoot a short range burst of bullets that apply three stacks of poison. Yes. Oh, there we go. We finally, we got it. We're online. We're online. We gotta get used to uh, the flow for when to... No stamina for my, my bat. There we go. The flow for when to use my dashes and when to use my, my bat. Bat is orange. Gotcha. Dash is the blue. On a hit, 30% chance to spawn a critter. Bullets rotate to a random direction. Hmm. On last shot, trigger this weapon. 30 homing, 25% range. That seems really good for this acid breath. Oh my god, yes! Getting that homing in there? Are you kidding me? So we do have to hit the enemy to, to get our ammo back. I think that's the thing, is I was like, oh, I can just hit the bullet, but no. It does have to be the enemy. I tried to do it again. Yep, yeah, for sure. So I think that's the thing. Making sure to actually hit the enemies themselves is going to be better. By, like, a large margin. I mean, ideally, I guess if we can get two at the same time, that's the way to go. This is chaos. Go, go, go. On kill, trigger an explosion. 15% haste on hurt, 20% haste, and 10 spread for the area. 100% damage to enemies above 75% health. Let's use a reroll here. Critter health. Two max health, minus two max ammo on area enter, regain health. So in a way, if you had like a last shot build, that could actually be good. For every point of max health, gain damage, size, and minus range. 5% mark damage bonus, and when you kill somebody, mark. I don't think that these had, uh, the crows had mark, did they? 45% damage up, bullet speed up, minus max ammo is a little bit tricky. Ooh, 15% enemy bullet speed up, but every 2.75 seconds deflect for random? This is interesting. I'm, I'm going for one more random. Poison Aura, on your last shot, apply four stacks of poison to the three nearest enemies. We got there. Let's do it. So now, like, yeah, for a, a last shot build, you could theoretically be like, all right, let's get down to, uh, you know, two total, two total ammo. And it could even be good. There we go. Good, 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 good. Good morning. Look at all these freaking crows, man. All right. Good. One man left. The warden. I do feel like poison's probably going to be good against you, I would imagine. Yep, it's very good against you. <laughs> Choose a boss relic. 45 homing. 40% bullet speed, 35% range. Piercing, bounce, range, convert all piercing into chaining. Plus one bullet, minus haste. Ooh. I mean, these are good, but I kind of want to see... I just want to see them, you know? Two max ammo on deflect. 30% chance to shoot an explosive homing missile that shoots an additional time for every three points of max ammo. Mark duration. Chain lightning has infinite range when chaining off marked enemies. Hmm. I guess I'll go for the royal missiles. On deflect. 
So we want to go for like a, a combo of maybe, I guess, reflecting bullets and enemies now. So like that. I do feel like I, uh, obviously hindsight would have wished to go for something else, but hey. He popped. All right, another weapon. Shoot 10 slow-moving bullets in a circle, plus one bullet for each max health. Every four ammo used, shoot a piercing saw, summon a turret that attacks nearby enemies. Inherits all weapon stats and effects. All weapon stats and effects? I mean, I'll just see what you mean. I'm assuming it means of my actual gun. But we'll see. Yeah, it seems like of my actual gun, probably. Pop ya. No ammo. Go, get out of here. Whoop. I mean, the turret seems fine. Venom Vial. Uh, minus damage on hit, 50% chance to apply two stacks of poison. This is kind of what I, I think I've been waiting for. Oh, okay. So the turret, when it when it says that, it means it gets all of... Hmm. Hmm. Could it be better to do this? Let's have poison turrets. Let's, let's see what that's about. If we get a bunch of them out... Can we get more than one out at a time? I feel like the answer is probably no, and I'm going to regret this. We can. We absolutely can. Okay. We absolutely can, and they are very good. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god, I missed. Oh, I missed. There we go. We, you miss with the bat just slightly. You are in hell, man. Explosion damage. Max health and minus plus move speed. These are relics. What else we got? Hourglass of doom. Haste. Every three seconds trigger your on last shot effects. I mean, max ammo I don't hate at all. I feel like the survival guy is good. I kind of just want to see what a lot of the stuff is. On deflect, chance that the starting weapon gains a bullet and spread. Summon attack rate up. The, this The turret might be a summon. On kill, shoot piercing spikes. Range up, size up, bullet speed down. I mean, these are all cool. Again, I kind of am just curious. I want to see this stuff. On last shot, apply four stacks of poison. Oh. I forgot we do have that last shot. I forgot that was the last shot thing. I guess we can get two of those. Okay. Okay. I mean, it sh seems like a pretty decent amount of, uh, of poison. We want to make sure we just save our final shot for an actual enemy here. Oh, no. Perish. Ooh, tight. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It feels like the hitbox for the, uh, the bat is smaller than you would think or want. Bullet rotates to a random direction on last shot. Trigger this weapon. Bullet spread. Bullets change direction at 50% range. On dash, chance to trigger this weapon. Hmm. Haste up. Spread up. I don't know how haste would affect some of these things, you know? I'm assuming it's just like speed up. Haste down, bullet speed down, every 0.6 seconds, all bullets shoot out tiny bullets. I feel like 30% chance the attack gains an extra projectile. Bullets will stay on the ground for three seconds before disappearing. I like one of these for the turret. Because if they all, if those all are going to gain the kind of like the poison effect too, is going to be very good. Yeah. Yep. They're definitely shooting extra. It is working. Whether or not they are all applying poison, I guess I don't know. Things seem like they're dying very quickly, though. So I'm going to put my money on Yeah, it works. Rock is for you. 
Wouldn't mind an extra bat swing at this point, too. I feel like that could be a useful tool. Man's about to blow. Cool. Critter damage up, move speed up. Two max health minus two max ammo. On area enter, regain an ammo. On kill trigger, explosion. Summon attack right up. Summon death, trigger, and explosion. I do think that could work. I have put myself in a weird spot, though, where I, I really just want to see what all of the things in the game are. Uh, max health, deal damage on hurt, deal damage to all enemies. I mean, that's good. It's just simple. One more for the sake of curiosity. Max health, summon health, dash, recharge, movement speed down. On point, woo, on poison apply, shoot a homing bullet in a random direction. There we go. Okay, we're shooting a lot of poisons. There we go. Didn't know that was going to be a thing. I love it. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Alright, 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 alright. We're in zone 2-6. I don't know how many zones there are. Oh no, I missed. Though I missed. Uh. Wavy bullets. Shoot four on hit. Shoot four bullets in random directions. Damage up spread. On bullet miss, shoot a homing bullet in a random direction. That's pretty cool, too. On trigger, throw chaining blade to a random enemy. On trigger, 3% summon and critter damage for the area. On trigger... On trigger... Chance to trigger all on last shot effects. Let's do that. So we have a chance to trigger our, uh, our poison blast, which is our relic. Seems to be working. See, do you see all those 50s? It seems to be working. Oh my lord. It's hard to tell sometimes with, with a couple of these triggers, though, I can't deny. Perish. There we go. And send you to hell. Yeah, those 50s are the... Those the end of a uh, clip effect. So the fact that those were happening before the end of the clip means that it is working absolutely, and it is kind of gross in a good way. All right. Oh, screw you. Kind of want to see what else we got. Damage up, piercing up, haste down. Haste has got to be fire rate. Point of max health. 20% uh, damage down. Explosions apply three stacks of poison. 25% poison damage on poison apply. Apply two additional stacks of poison minus max health. Uh, let's go with the Relic Aura sin again since... Just, just look at that. Just look how much damage that is. It's just so good. It's extreme overkill. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. But oh well. Not my problem. So now we don't really need a... We don't need a small clip in order to get this effect going really e effectively. Tis irrelevant to me. We kind of want uh, a big clip and a lot of haste, I guess. Okay. Hey! Karumba. Okay, we got, we got bodied there. Without ammo, there we go. Give me up. Oh boy. Certified lot on screen moment. Okay, you better be getting lots of freaking poison. Oh. Alrighty. Trying to get. 
all of the poison stacking there. I got hit way too many times. That was bad. Let's see what we've got. Two max ammo on hurt. Reload your starting weapon every five ammo. Use trigger a random non-starting weapon. Two max health. Four non-boss reward rerolls. On critter death, which we don't... I don't think we have technically any critters. Uh, right here. Do we have any critters? This doesn't count as a summon. So this says the word summon specifically. Critters have a very specific thing. Uh, the explosions apply poison could be good with the royal missiles if we did a lot of reflecting. Plus three bounces. Bullets can bounce off enemies too. Thousand percent range. Bullets can't bounce. Let's get that. Oh my god. That seems um, unhinged. That seems like it rips everything wide open. Okay. That's that's nuts. Uh, plus one chaining, twenty percent size, bolt speed, haste down, chance to trigger this weapon from a random position. It's a maybe. That could be good as well for applying even more poison. Damage minus bolt speed, chance to mark the target. 30% chance the attack gains a projectile. Bolts will stay on the ground for three seconds before disappearing. I'm really curious about that one too. I just, I'm really having a fun looking at all of these. 60% range plus two bounces. Let's put that on that sucker. Man, we really should just put it on our, um, we should put it on the acid splash, because that seems like it's kind of doing everything at this point. Uh. I'm without dash. Okay. Max stamina minus damage. On killer summon death, regain stamina. Range up, size up, bullet speed down. On last shot, shoot a marking, bouncing, piercing bullet to a random enemy is good. On dash trigger, on kill. That's good, too. Mm. There's some really cool things here. Haste up, 20% on hurt. 20% haste and spread for the area. Twenty. Wait, 15% damage down, and then minus two max ammo, but then for every health, you get ammo up. What is my max health currently? I wish I knew. On last shot trigger. I mean, that could be good, too. We have the chance to trigger on last shots. I, I kind of want to know. I have faith. Uh, on deflect chance, the starting weapon gains a bullet and spread. Summon attack right up. On summon death, trigger an explosion. You know what? Sure. The turret sh should count. As far as I'm aware, it, as far as I'm aware, it does. Oh my lord. I'm trusting you, turret. It doesn't seem incredible, though. Like, Gotta be honest, we should clearly be popping it on our poison blast, but we're saving the best for last there. We're gonna get some bangers for it. All attacks gain from 0 to 70% damage speed and size. Damage, I mean, that's just good. Range... Bullet speed up, spread down. Thirty homing. I mean, we already have that on this, which was was really effective. Twenty percent range, chance. I mean, maybe damage knockback size range. Two piercing, two piercing on that is actually interesting. Twenty percent, eh? 
haste shoot bullet to the nearest enemy on hit. I think getting the sting shot for this could be interesting. Getting some... We have bouncing piercing on that. I feel like that could be good. I don't know how it interacts in this game, but I'm going to imagine, like Brotato, it works in the good way, because it seems to, you know, it sure seems to be working very, very well. Yeah, it's like, it's basically infinite bouncing and infinite inf staying on the screen. Oop. Grab that energy. Max health, chain lightning damage. I could get this. It's not bad, the bullet fries. Dash recharge speed up on dash to flex the three nearest bullets. On okay, on poison apply, shoot a homing bullet in a random direction. Seems like a yes. Yeah, no, that's because that's what's going on with that. That's why that's going so much. The homing bullets are spawning at that location. That's why there's about a million of them. Oh god. It's just it's bouncing around like crazy. I don't have anything. I don't have any reflex or anything. We just kind of have to hope that I can see, and that's a big if. There's so many numbers and bullets flying around that I legitimately just can't see. <laughs> On hit, chance to trigger an explosion, damage and spread. As good as those do seem to be. Plus one bullet, plus one bullet, spread, bullets change direction. Minus 30% range on trigger, plus one damage for this area. Uh, Could be good. I feel like we could just do better. This one chaining. I do want to know what that would be about. On bullet miss, shoot homing direction. On hit, shoot bullets. I mean, let's get that over here. We'll do it. Chance to shoot even more, which applies even more poison, which gives even more randoms. I think we just need to be attacking, like, a lot less and just letting the uh, the stuff kind of carry for us a little bit more. We just need to basically fire, like, one time. We need to fire three times, rather. Per wave. And then everything is dead. Goodbye. What have I done? Perish. Oh no. Aye, my bad. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Just needed an in. What happening? It's all dying. I'm so I'm like I'm so strong, but I also can't tell what's happening, man. On dash trigger, on kill effects, which could be good, of course. On last shot, shoot a marking, bouncing, piercing. I mean, it is it's very good. I just feel like we could do something even better. Hey, stamina regen, but more elites. I don't know which ones have been elites. Two random non-boss relics you already own. On health loss, chance to lose one max health. What the heck? Damage piercing minus haste. Maybe. Three max ammo, one max dash. This feels good at this point. I'm definitely feeling the need for an extra max dash. Does not feel like I have room for a lot of these situations otherwise. Oh boy. Like, waves are dying so fast and new ones keep spawning so fast. Oh boy. And like, with enemies dying on, uh, or exploding on death, they're showing up and then new enemies are spawning while the, <laughs> the explodey bullets are still very much around. Okay. This bouncy shot one is just truly, truly nuts. Probably the wildest of them. Chance to trigger chain lightning on trigger. Chance to trigger all on last shot effects.
You know what? Sure, let's just get another one of those. This is... This is my, uh... Oh my god. It's just my AoE effect. Trigger, that's all it is. It's not actually a gun. Oh my god, it's working very well. Oh, what have I done? I just... Don't have any space. Oh, I'm dying? It's one of those games where it's really hard to tell when that's happening, you know? Okay. It's health up here. Oh, God. It's double health down here. We're fine. I'm also sure that, like, the higher difficulties have got to have less healing. Which feels like it's going to be brutal. Because screen clarity is already like, ooh boy. Maybe I picked uh, an extra rough run for that, though, is the thing. Okay. But I got a sneaking suspicion this is not even the half of the stupid stuff you can do <laughs> for builds. Okay. Yeah, I hear. Oh, King? That's the- I mean, that's gotta be the final boss. Okay. Get that poison on there. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, yo! And it looks like he has a second health bar. No? I did it! <laughs> Danger 1 unlocked! New high score! We got the double music going on again. So I'm gonna move that down since we got both. So we have unlocks, so... Oh, okay, so we have to unlock the different starting stuff too? Chance to shoot a chaining bullet, plus four bullets, piercing bullets. Like, starting out with some wild stuff there. Weapon unlocks, relic unlocks, mod unlocks. So just go for like a. How about we just go for like a one of all those? Hold on. I guess we could probably only need to unlock one character at a time, right? There we go. We've unlocked garlic. Deal damage to all enemies and apply. Ooh, every. Ooh. It's an AoE screen wide thing. Shoot a burst of bullets to the nearest enemy on hit. Spawn a critter. Chance to spawn a critter. Apply mark to random enemy. I mean, I'm really curious about it. Hey, if you guys want to see more of this, do let me know in the form of a comment down below. If you'd like to see me play through some other weapons, some other builds. It's very chaotic. It's very wild. It's I'll, I'll admit it's very hard to follow at times. Uh, I feel like some set, like a setting to maybe like put... I don't know. It feels like our bullets need to be behind enemies or something. Because it's it's got that screen clutter issue that some games like this has. Um... I'm sure you would get used to it and everything like that, but it's 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 a lot. It's a lot. It's very fun. I really like the freedom you have to make a busted build. It is, like, one of the most free games in that area. Like, being able to just truly set up your own triggers and effects and triggers and effects and triggers and effects. Letting them play together in a functionally very stupid and beautiful way. It seems like there's not a lot of safeguards, and that is kind of, you know, and that's fun, right? Like, for a game like this, that's sort of what you want, I think, right? Usually is, like, just not a lot of safeguards. Pedal to the metal, let the player go nuts, let the player ruin the screen for themselves if they want to, and boy, that's what we did today. Uh, Time to Strike is going to be coming out tomorrow. I don't know what the price is going to be. Uh, huge thanks to the devs for sending this to me a little bit early so I could check it out and show it off for you. Uh, but yeah, I played... With the the pre-alpha or whatever the demo kind of version like six months ago really neat this is a great improvement from that i really enjoy it i do think it's uh, fans of this genre we're gonna have a fun time with this one thank you thank you and i'll see you next time though my name is retromation sorry covering <laughs> roguelikes tomorrow every single day thank you thank you and i'll see you next time bye